G'day everyone. In this short video, we're going to look at how to download daily Rhinex files at 30 second observation intervals from the Geoscience Australia GNSS data repository. So first off, open up the data repository, data.gnss.gov.ga.gov.au. We'll also put the link in the video description. So the site's got a pretty easy to use interface, uh, although there's a few little tips and tricks so first off, uh, put in the sites that you're interested in. Now, if you already know the four character identifier for your site, like say Hobart 2, you can simply enter the four character ID in. Uh, if you don't know the four character ID, but you have a rough idea of where the site is located, say for example, Canberra, you might get lucky and the description for the site uh, might have that location in it. Uh, and you know, you can see here that there's TID1 here in Canberra. So I can select that one as well. And let's add in another one here in Melbourne. Uh, what about the Melbourne Observatory? So I've got three sites here at the moment. Uh, so that, that will get me data for three sites. Now I just need to go through the tick boxes here. I don't want uh, Rhinex Met data. I don't want Rhinex Navigation data. I would just like the default observation data. Now you may need to be careful here as to whether or not the sites provide for the date you're after, Rhinex 3 format or Rhinex 2. If we get no results for Rhinex 3, we could try the search with Rhinex 2, the older version of the Rhinex format. All right, so let's put a date in here. Just note that the date's year, month, day. So how about we put in here, you can either click in the box and type or use the little calendar pop-up. How about we go for the 1st of January, 2019. Now, if you're looking for daily files, like we are in this video, you put in the start um, date and time over here, and then you'll need to put in the end date and time as well. Now, if I want to get it just for that one day, I just change it to the same date over here. And you can pretty much put in any time here, as long as it's after this time that you started with. Check the format, run X3, I want daily files with a 30 second observation interval. You can see here that uh, the data repository provides other higher rate files. So you can get hourly files at 30 second intervals or um, high rate one second data if that's what you're after. Okay, so let's just have a quick recap here. I'm after data from three sites on the 1st of January, 2019. I've put the start time and any time on the same day will work over here at the end date. I'm looking for Rhinex 3 daily observations. All right, let's hit the search here and see what we get. All right, so here are the results of our query. You can see here that the observation files for all three stations were available on that day. Here are the file names in the Rhinex 3 file naming convention. Okay, so what about if you wanted more than one day's worth of data? Well, that's pretty easy if you are after continuous days. Uh, just go back up to your search form here. Let's say I wanted to go from the 1st of January until uh, the 2nd of January. I can just modify the date here. Just type or put use the calendar, search again. And this time I'd be expecting to see six results, three files from each day, uh, and we can see them here. So you can see the dates, here's the first, here's the 2nd of January for um, MOBS, uh, sorry, Hobart, and here's the 1st and 2nd of January for MOBS, 1st and 2nd of January for Tidbin Villa. If you've got uh, gaps, you know, if you wanted the 1st of January and the 1st of February, well, you'll have to do uh, separate searches effectively. Okay, so there's two ways to download the files, um, but there's a slight difference between the two methods. If you want to download the files individually, just click on the 
name of the file and we'll save this into a folder called single so we can show you the difference now obviously it's a little bit tedious if you have lots of files even three of them to download them all individually so you can click the little link over here a little box at the top here select them all and download them all in one go by clicking this download button in uh, on the right let's put this in a folder called multiple and we'll go and have a look at the results of the two downloads now when we downloaded the multiple files what's actually happened is that they have been bundled up into a single zip file so I need to extract this zip file first to see all three of the files that resulted from my search you'll see all of these individual files have an extension .gz so these have been gzipped individually as well as in a group to download them so I need to extract these again so I can do them all at once we use 7-zip it's quite a handy free tool very good so now that I have unzipped those three gzip files I can delete those and I'm left with my three Rhinex files that match the three files on the website notice that this dot crx extension here means um, that this is a special compressed version of a Rhinex file known as a Hatanaka Rhinex file and it's the Rhinex 3 version of those formats okay now how is this different from when we downloaded a single file let's go and have a look back at the single file we downloaded you can see that the single file is just the gzipped version of the file there's no extra zipping going on I only need to extract this one once so I can you know do that again with gzip 7-zip sorry I need the compressed one and I have the same file now again so that's just the difference between the single file download you only have to unzip it once um, or if you download multiple files you need to actually unzip the files twice now finally what about if you're after Rhinex version 2 instead of Rhinex version 3 well uh, let's see if there's Rhinex version 2 available for these sites uh, for these two days I'll just switch the Rhinex version to 2 here we'll run a search uh, here we go yes there so we could also download Rhinex version 2 for these days as well all stations are providing that just keep in mind that not all stations will provide both Rhinex version 2 and Rhinex version 3 so if you receive no data for a particular date range for a particular station you might want to try the other Rhinex version okay well that's it for manually searching and downloading the Geoscience Australia GNSS data repository if you're looking for something a bit more advanced because you have lots of files to download for lots of stations uh, you might want to have a look at the API documentation which allows you to uh, use this same service but programmatically so that you can script up your downloads and things like that our implementation of this API for use with Bernie's 5.2 is available on the position plus plus github page that's pretty much it thanks for watching see you next time